Welcome back everybody. Now this episode is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to start doing a series of vlogs just to fill in the gaps as we're waiting for parts to arrive for projects or a trip's been cancelled due to rain like what happened last weekend. And to be honest, we've got some pretty exciting things happening around here and it'll be good to fill in the gaps and show you what we get up to in our time off. So as you would have seen from previous episodes, We've pretty much done most of the landscaping around our property here and we're starting to, you know, wind down and relax a little bit. Nope, nope, that's not, that's not the case at all. We're in the process of undoing this back quarter of our yard for something that's, that's pretty exciting that, that will be happening over the next few weeks. And that's going to involve a lot of shoveling and moving things around. So I've got a project which will be an upcoming episode I'm going to give you a sneak peek on and it's right there in the shed. So let's go and check it out. So here in front of us is our spare zero turn lawnmower. I've just repowered it after waiting forever for parts. And I was initially gonna make a episode on the whole process of doing this, but you know what, that's boring. So let's turn it around. But what about something like this? That's right, I'm going to try to make a loader out of this zero turn. And that will make our life so much easier. It's going to be an upcoming episode, so stay tuned to see if we can get all this working. Just waiting on a few parts to come from China of all places. But I think it's going to be pretty darn cool. So, this is a little project we've got happening in the wings, in amongst everything else. But as you can tell, I'm pretty excited. But now back to the purpose of this vlog, which is talking about all the stuff that's happening around here right now. First, we need to go back a few months, just before Christmas, to the compound in behind the shed where we put in a concrete slab. And that's just the start of the stage out there. There's a lot more to happen. And then from there, we'll go out to the side because that's where the real business is about to occur. So in here is a little area we call the compound. It's really quite sandy, it's typically full of weeds and it's just that little spot where you go to dump all your rubbish where people can't see it and it's hidden away behind the shed. So the first phase of this project is really, really easy. We've got to move all this stuff out, then we're getting the professionals in to pour a slab so we can put our carport over. So let's get into moving all this gear out. Concreters are coming in tomorrow, we need to get them started. So one of the main issues we've got here are rabbits. They love the sandy soil and they burrow under everything. So under this shed here, they've started making a little home. So we're gonna fill this full of concrete and get rid of the rabbits. We got all that done last night. It was a real mission, but now it's ready for the concreters. The racking in the background there, it was full of all this old hardwood that came from our old place. We're gonna chop that up and use it for firewood. A lot of the stuff won't go back in, but the idea is to have a nice area where you can do all your dusty work and not make a mess inside the shed. Originally, we we're gonna do gravel down here, but I think concrete really gonna make it so much more workable especially when we get a garage door located in the side of that wall so you can go in and out and have a bit of a hybrid space between the shed area and this outdoor work area. It's gonna be awesome. Anyhow, we'll get out of the road. Concreters will be here any minute now, so we'll let them get started.
now for the next exciting project. We've just pulled apart this really nice play area we had here. That sits behind the shed and used to have all our playground equipment in this great mulched area. So I didn't have to mow around it. It made it really nice and it was a, a cool little feature of our backyard. So we're in the middle of undoing that right now. So we've had to start uncovering all our sprinklers again. I'm going to pull them out and terminate them. Fun bits trying to find them. I've started just taking off some of the mulch from the top. We're just stockpiling it over here in the corner and over there so we can reuse it later on. And then this whole area through here, I've now got to cut all the turf out. We're just going to move that somewhere else where we can use it. So that essentially this mulched area here will flow around and connect to the mulched area we did in an episode previous where we showed you how to do the edging. So we just cut all the turf up then. I'll tell you what, that was hard work. I don't know if I was doing it right. And, it, and it's probably a little bit tricky because we're trying to essentially cut out a triangle, not big long runs. So I had to keep stopping and starting. If I was doing something wrong, put that down in the comments. But look, for 15 minutes worth of mucking around with that turf cutter and what, maybe 150 bucks or something, that sure beats cutting it all by hand. Because I did do that pile, over, that area over there where the turf cutter is, so I could move my um, stockpile of mulch across. And that was pretty hard work. It took a few hours just uh, digging it out by hand. So it definitely makes a difference. We've got to roll it all up now, move it out the front, and spread it. we're going to try to get some areas growing out on the verge, on the corner, where we haven't been able to establish turf. And to be honest, we haven't even really tried out there. So it's just reusing what we've got. If it grows, it grows. If not, we'll deal with that has another project down the track. And you can just see, like my mind's always going 100 miles an hour, looking at months and months and months down the track next year and little projects all over the place. trailer is doing pretty good we've got a tipping trailer as well but with this new ride on it's a little bit back heavy I guess and every now and again releases and lets go but this you can actually sift all the dirt and rocks out of the bottom of it so it's not what it's made for but it works pretty well now keen viewers will notice our Kingston Park sign here in the background and every time I've done a shot over the last 12 months a few letters have slowly fallen off and well we haven't got much left now it's waiting for winter so I can rebuild it using these cool LED neon style letters. They're 12 volt and they should be a lot easier to affix to the framework I've already got in there. So that's going to be a project getting ready for the new use we got out here and we should have that done easy by spring. So stay tuned for that also. It's just something I've had sitting around for ages. I've had these letters probably for over 12 months now, trying to find some time where I can get in and do that. And we're pretty much all done. All ready for the guys to come in and do their thing over the next few weeks. 
keep you guessing about what it's going to be. We'll have to stay tuned to the next vlog where we fill you in with what the new purpose of our playground is going to be. And by that time, we should have something that's kind of okay to look at. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. We've still got a lot more Jayco content coming along. We do need to get our camping. I've got a Wooshka that I want to review. It's kind of like an Ozpig. So it's getting to the temperatures now where we can get out, have a nice warm fire and do some cooking on a campfire. I also need to do a follow up on our portable diesel heater just to give some updates on that and a few little alterations and different ways of doing things. So I'm gonna to try to do that ASAP. And of course, we've got the project in the shed, which it, it, it comes down to the supplier parts and my time to get in and get that done. But a helping hand out here would be fantastic because we've got a lot of work to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing. And most of all, get out there, stay safe, and have fun. Catch you later.